guys, welcome back, it's me Bruce with another episode of High Wattage and I will do a few high level PvP raids today and my VP count is going up uh, this week I wasn't able to play too much so I more or less stagnated around 1165 VP um, but that's alright um, I do have quite a lot of statues boosted at the moment due to the fact that I did Colonel Gearheart before I also uploaded that video and I also did the Task Force Operations Attack and I will quickly show the, ta uh, show the Task Force Operations Attack to you because it is pretty funny because I did something what you would not expect from me I used tanks so view battle and yes you see right I am using tanks and I do like to use tanks, especially on task force operations, because uh, since we were a five-man task force, um, we have a lot of maps, Mambo and Sawcrabs that are very doable with tanks. And my first move was to dispose of those two uh, boom cannons uh, to the bottom of the core, um, because they are quite... You know, it's, it takes quite a lot of time to reach them. Um, they are behind all the other defensive buildings and they have uh, quite far reach. So I wanted to get rid of them and now there are only three boom cannons. And I will actually be able to shock all those three boom cannons with one shock. So this was the reasoning here. And then it's pretty much standard tank gameplay. Um, I'm maneuvering around. I will speed it up to two times speed now. I'm uh, maneuvering around and basically going step by step, taking out all the buildings. There's not really anything that can uh, hurt me. And uh, taking down the rocket launchers. And I think that shock might have been a little bit early, but okay. And um, yeah, I had quite a lot of gunboat energy because I was boosted. And as you can see, the first two boom cannons go down now, and it's so easy to shock those three at the core. And now it's only one, and this is going down two in a second. And yes, uh, again, some maneuvering, regrouping tanks, uh, and pretty standard tank gameplay there. Um, taking out the rocket launcher and the tanks uh, actually they spread out a little bit too much they spread out uh, so that uh, that uh, cannon uh, could touch them that was a bit unfortunate because I think due to, the, uh, due to that cannon I lost in total two tanks and I would have liked to avoid that but yeah in any way and yet now it's pretty much uh, working the core I will speed it up to four times speed now and the core is going down and I had my troop damage guardian boosted so uh, damage was not a problem at all and yes I'm actually using tanks guys I'm using them more and more lately and um, I like using tanks and I might do um, a pure tank video soon um, but no worries I'm still I'm still in love with my hookers and they are my main troop combination and so I will use them now. I've already insta refinished the troops. Let me quickly collect this loot here and go to the map. And the first guy I will take on is the 62 guy. It's a Chinese guy. Unfortunately, I cannot read Chinese characters. This is always a bit unfortunate. Um, let me quickly check the boost. It is moderate. He has two masterpieces boosted. And he has a pretty standard base layout. So we'll go with a pretty standard approach here. Um, I will take out two rocket launchers and then go for there. Uh, go from there. And I might not even need to take out two rocket launchers. One would be enough. The one on the left. But if I take out the one in the middle, it makes things easier. And I won't need a mad kit because sometimes the rocket launcher touches a few sukas. And I also won't need too many smokes. So let me quickly take them out. There we go. Boom. And now let's land the troops, one heavy, then the Sukas, and then the rest of the heavies, toss the critter box and flare up over there. Pretty standard approach, I'm using it a lot, especially on this particular base design. And now the smokes, there we go. And one more smoke, and I'm basically, okay, I think a few Sukas um, got hurt or got picked up by that uh, shock blaster. By the way, the shock blaster is such a nasty defensive item. I will now go with my first critter box to distract the mortars until I'm in position um, because those mortars can be pretty tricky. Um, they pick up uh, Suka so fast and so I always have to be a little bit careful. Let's toss a mad kit there and now I will just keep those two boom cannons and that shock blaster shocked and uh, not shock blaster but this laser beam and I might even now shock the shock launcher over there because it is kind of annoying and go with one more shock here. There we go. 
and get my troops to the core or better say to the headquarters one more med kit over there and then let them do their thing and it is pretty fast it is going down in seconds and i'm losing a lot of heavies but that's all right the heavies are on my meat shield um, i do lost uh, I do lost a few Sukas, which was quite unfortunate, but then again, it doesn't really matter. This Chinese guy goes down. And yeah, let's jump to the next base, insta refinish the troops and go for it. And today I have a few maps, uh, a few bases on my map that are pretty tricky because they are severely boosted. But I'm boosted too, so that offsets their boost. And the next guy is this Kasu guy. So let's check out Kasu and he got a really big boost going on. Let me quickly check his boom cannons here. Yes, his health boost exceeds the 100% and he got a perfect uh, masterpiece, a perfect building health masterpiece, 73, uh, 37%, uh, boost is 74%. I got actually the same one, I got a perfect one too. And I will go with a pretty standard approach here. I will go straight forward and roll over his base uh, for the simple reason that he placed two shock launchers and one shock blaster right in the beginning. This will make it very easy for me to get rid of the shock blasters and shock launchers immediately. Um, I think I will use a little bit of gunboat energy to take out the rocket launchers on the left and on the right because this will make life for me so much easier. And it will be one barrage and three artillery shells. There we go. Hopefully it will be three artillery shells. Yes, it is going down very well. And this one over there too. So, boom. And one, two, three. There we go. And I'm even, uh, you know, taking down two more, um, two more uh, economy buildings. So, getting extra GB there, which is very nice. And now I will toss two critter boxes on the beach and then I will land my troops. There we go. Spread them out right in the beginning. And that's pretty much it. And then just go from there and I will definitely shock the, uh, the laser beam. Um, because with that uh, damage boost the laser beam is quite nasty. I have to be careful with the laser beam. It will pick up Sukas, and I do want to avoid that. So I'm shocking it, keeping it shocked. And besides that, there's not too much around what can really hurt me. And I think it is okay now. Yes, as you can see, that laser beam is doing a lot of damage. I will go with two shocks here and here now to keep the boom cannons and the cannons shocked. And I think I will toss a critter box here because I want to avoid um, that my Sukas die. And a few Sukas died there, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I st uh, still have a lot of troops standing. And I'm approaching the headquarters now. And the Sukas are working the headquarters. I will now flare the headquarters to bring it home fast. And one more shock over here because I can. And there we go. It goes down very fast. And this also, he had quite a big boost. But then again, in all fairness, I am boosted too. So that is not too much of a... Of a miracle there <clears throat> and yeah this is the big flaw in my opinion if you place major key defensive buildings right on the beach like the shock launches there um, it makes it so much easier if you can get rid of them right away so I personally would avoid that and let's insta refinish the troops and go to the next guy I think there's one more guy on my map and he is also very much boosted he has a very very big boost going on I think um, let me check. Yes, he has also a health boost that exceeds 100% and my phone is ringing. Let me quickly mute my phone. Sorry guys. I thought I muted it, but all right. So, and he has an almost 100% damage boost. Um, this 100% damage boost is actually quite dangerous. And But the, uh, the fact is that, um, not the fact, uh, the thing is he is uh, only level 56. So he has quite a lot of very weak uh, defensive buildings on top of his base and his cannons are not maxed out. So that makes things so much easier. And I think I will just roll over his base. And in the beginning I work with, uh, will work with a lot of critters and then basically go for it. And let me quickly check the boost. I think I will take out two shock launchers because that will make my life so much easier once again and then just roll all over his space and see how that goes and i'm a bit worried because the the building damage boost is so high um, it is always almost 100 percent and um, this high building damage boost it is really dangerous um, troops get getting picked up so fast 
and even those small cannons can do a lot of damage but i think we should be fine um if i fail i will go over the left side but i want to first try and see how it goes let the troops spread out right in the beginning and i think i will need to go with the next critter box very soon because i really want to avoid getting picked up by the boom cannons because i think the boom cannons will be one shot buildings i think they will rape my troops within seconds and i will now shock that shock blaster um, because the shock blast is also doing so much damage those shock blasters they are so nasty it is unbelievable they are such strong defensive items and if you can you should always place two shock blasters I mean it is not always possible but it is uh, possible most most of the time at least if you play a lot I will now go with a critter box over here because I can't shock all those spoon cannons and as soon as those spoon cannons are down I think I should be in the clear because there's really not much else left there let me shock that thing over here and I definitely need a med kit over there because my troops will walk through that mine and it will, uh, will rip them apart and now I will shock that shock uh, shock launcher over there and regroup right in front of the headquarters yes there we go and basically just take them out and work with a few more med kits here there we go and that should work very well yes he is going down and one more heavily boosted base i mean he's only level 56 and this makes a huge difference guys if you if you don't have uh, maxed out cannons and max out sniper towers and so on the overall damage that the defensive buildings will do to the attacker it is so much less than if you would be maxed out and it is making a really big difference and while we are at it i might do one more um uh, npc base so my map will be clear completely clear let me quickly check do i miss uh, have i missed any other base besides those three pvp bases no that's it so i will do that one more npc base and then i will close the video because then there's nothing else to attack and um yes okay let me see i will i will go ahead and basically take out everything here um because i have so much gbe so it will be very easy to take things out there we go and i also will take out that flamethrower the mortar and the rocket launcher there <clears throat> that went very well and now i will take out those two rocket launches here and the rocket launches they are quite low in health as you can see and they are going down so fast it is amazing and there we go taking out those two and i think they're both going down yes this went very well too i still have so much gumbo energy so i will dispose of those two cannons here there we go dispose and i will also take down that cannon over there there we go and that's pretty much it there's now only one more cannon that can really hurt me and i will land my troops over here and i need to be a little bit careful because i have only five heavies so let me flare over here into the corner and go with a shock and yeah cruise through the base and guys um it is going pretty well lately um there's only one thing i really really need to to progress and this is a master uh, a building health masterpiece of 31 or 32 percent and i mentioned it before the thing is if you have a building health masterpiece of 31 or 32 percent um you will actually be able to place a guardian and if you both boost the guardian and the building health masterpiece you will exceed 10k on your rocket launches and on your boom cannons and this will mean that you uh, your opponents won't be able um, to take down your key defensive buildings with one artillery uh, one barrage and two artilleries and um, they will then need one barrage and three artilleries and this was making a big difference and so i really needed 31 percent building health masterpiece and if i get that i will put up a 13 percent building health guardian and will boost them both and then i will have more than i think 10.1k um, on my boom cannons and on my rocket launchers and then people won't be able to take them out and this will be a major game changer and let me quickly check uh, check my rank now um 1173 uh, victory points in germany i'm ranked 10 at the moment i was ranked 9 uh, yesterday but you know it differs from the time of the day 
and this is actually not too much of a way to top uh, to the number one anymore. Um, the number one has 1248 victory points. This is kind of achievable and as you can see there's also no group in front of me um, number six to number nine and they're quite close in VP to me so I will be able to bypass them pretty soon and um, yeah go from there and see how it goes and let me quickly check my global rank. Uh, my global rank at the moment is 318 so this is not too bad at all actually and I don't know I said it before I don't really know if I will make it to the global top 50 ever we will see I'm pretty sure I won't make it to global number one anymore this is at the moment so far fetched I mean check it out 1639 victory points it is crazy I'm not too sure about that I'm also not too sure if I want to take that um, that uh, challenge on because it will be so time intensive and I don't know if I will have the time and so I have to decide that but I think I will go for German rank number one and then I would be more or less uh, you know that would be a personal goal for me and let me quickly check the, uh, check the rank of my task force we are doing quite well um, we are doing Mambo and Sawcrabs and what is our rank there where we are 145 and we got the 5% victory points that deducted already so when our operation ends we will jump I guess to rank 120 or something like that and the top 50 is not too far away now so this is also going very well and yeah um, guys I hope you have a super nice weekend and enjoy yourself and have a good time with Boom Beach and see you next time. Bye.